Step inside the box, baseball fans. We're back. 2020 Bowman. Going with a little different product. Going with the single packs. These are $3.99 a piece. Um, again, I usually don't buy these, but at least these you can't see through. A um, little bit discouraged. Opened up 12 blaster boxes. Not one chrome Dominguez. Just went through two videos, one of 28 packs of the uh, rack packs, one with 25, and I'm a little disheartened. I believe that somebody searched those packs. Um, there were still some great cards in there, but there were multiples of the chromes. There's four chromes in each one. There was 212 total chromes of the prospects and not one Bobby Witt Jr., which I didn't even realize at the time because I was so focused on Dominguez, and not one Dominguez chrome, and then multiples of most, like Paulson here, three of him. That's from those just those pack openings. This is why um, you go through and you look to see what you pulled, unless it was just extremely bad luck, but... I've always had a rule that I don't buy these types of packs, these fat packs. I mean, you can see through them. The reason I bought them today is because it's impossible to find Bowman. And two, they were just stocked today. And I estimate that they were on the rack no, no longer than three or four hours. So didn't look like the packs were beat up. I didn't see any... And again, maybe I'm being just skeptical, but I find it really weird that uh, that there wasn't one Dominguez or one Bobby Witt Jr., the two premier players and of the first Bowmans and the other cards, that there was one of each of those. For the, I mean, there's a complete set, so except for those cards. So that's, I mean, it is what it is. There's no going back. It's not like I can do anything. And you move on. There's still some good cards. Um, let's see what these bring in for us. So this is the first time. Let's see how many. We know these can't be searched because you can't see through the packs. Let's see what. Uh, so, oh, wow. So two. So two per pack. All right. That's not too bad. 34 packs. So, 68 chrome cards here, hopefully. Plus, I guess I didn't think about the insert. So, insert in that one. And the weird thing is, is there was some great color and even autographs in those packs. Like, they're backwards. You can see them. But, uh, it's, uh, the hobby's weird. I'm very skeptical of the hobby. Ooh, we got a green retail. And Big Meat Pete Green. That's a cool card. So color in here, retail is green only. That is a pretty looking card. I like that card. So first hit out of this. Still looking to pull my first Chrome Dominguez of the year. Haven't done it yet. Um, it's crazy. I can't believe it. It's not like he's a short print. Um, those packs, like I said, took, took the wind out of my sails. Not going to lie. I usually stay pretty even keel, um, with opening cards. Mike Trout, first Trout of that. That's a sweet card. Let me adjust that a little bit. So I try to stay even keel with the cards you got to roll with the good. You got to roll with the bad. Like, uh, you know, the funny thing is, is, and I'm, I'm not joking. I should try to screenshot it. I wish I had the technology in front of me. Is uh, as I was opening up that second batch, I got a notification and I sold a 2018 Bowman's Best autograph, a double autograph of Ozzy Albies and Ronald Acuna Jr. You can get on eBay and you can look at it. 
believe I sold it for $299.99. It's been sitting on there for a long time. I uh, refuse to lower the price. And somebody, I've had so many people message me about that card and want that card. And I've been stubborn with that one. Didn't really want to sell it. And during that video, as I was getting down to the end, I saw the notification come on my phone, sold. And it's like, all right, I just paid for all the cards that I bought right there with one card. So um, you got to roll with the punches with cards. If you're only buying, you know, a blaster here, a blaster, that's great. And I don't tell anybody, do not spend money you don't have. You know, if you're buying cards trying to get rich, it's just, it's not going to happen. Um, there are ways you can definitely make some money doing this. But you're going to have times if you, you can spend a thousand bucks and get, get a case of cards. That is just a total, total dud. Um... And it happens. So I wasn't very upset with the way I just I just wanted Jason Dominguez Chrome card so I can get it graded. It's all I want. Just one at this point. Haven't done it. It's becoming like the fish you can't catch. But um it's just part of the deal with cards. You can go through super lows and super highs, and if you just if you're getting cards graded and you can really make back your money on on a couple cards. So just don't spend money you don't have. Keep just buy, you know, buy uh save up like I know people who they only buy Bowman. They save up and they just buy a couple cases of Bowman. I'll never forget in 2017, I overpaid for a case of Topps Chrome with Judge and Bellinger, I believe, in there. And man, that case was the biggest, most horrible case out there. It had nothing in it. And uh, there's a Kino. You're gonna have you're gonna have cases that are just not good. It's part of the game. So again, there's two there's two of the Bowman Chrome Prospect cards in every one of these packs, which is cool. And then some of them have an insert. I've had one color so far, which is surprised about that. And an autograph. Andrew Bechtel. And actually. That's the second autograph of this dude I've pulled. I think I pulled that one in the first, in the blasters possibly. So, Andrew Bechtold, autograph. So, had a Pete Alonzo green retail, and now an autograph. Make me turn my, turn on. Uh, change my tune if we hit an autograph out of of Jason Domingo's out of retail. Man, there's a lot of paper cards stacking up, sorting, and, and again, this is what I encourage people to do. When you go buy a decent amount, sit down instead of like, it just, like, after I got done open, I just did a quick sort. I put all the first Bowmans in the pile. I laid them out. And there's, I don't know how many first Bowmans there are of players. And I just kind of looked at them and saw. And then I'm like, I didn't even realize after those two first videos that I didn't pull one Bobby Witt card. Um, just didn't realize. I was so focused on Dominguez. And I'm like, wait a sec. There's not one Bobby Witt either. So that's when I, you know, it's one thing not to hit the Dominguez, but when you don't hit both. I start thinking, man, maybe somebody searches at the store or maybe somebody's doing it in between the distribution. Um, I mean, cards are becoming big money and especially those two cards. 
And so far, I'm getting shut out again. Again, just trying to stay even keel. Looking, just, just one Dominguez, baby. That's all I want, just one. Make it a monster. Make it, a, make it the Super Fractor non-auto. I heard that the Super Fractor was pulled. I don't know if that's true, but I'll have to go on eBay and look. Cubby. There's a Paulson paper. Last year in Bowman, I got in a break and I hit a Wander Franco. Um, pretty low numbered autograph card and sold that for a very large number. And who knows if that card's going to be worth anything. I was like, I have a rule that, like with these Chrome Prospects, man, for that, that kind of money, I'm going to sell it now. And not regret it later. I think I sold that card for like 2500 bucks, somewhere in that range. But I sold a Eloy Jimenez um, Cubs gold shimmer autograph for a big number. And I believe it was 17 Bowman, his first Bowman. And I'm a Cubs fan. That's one of the very few Cubs cards that I've ever sold. But it was just too much money to not sell. And actually, as of now, oh, knocked over some cards. As of now, that card uh, is not worth as much as I sold it for. I got it graded, sold it, made a pretty good penny on it, and it has not gone over that value yet. Now, if he has a full season, which this year doesn't look like it's going to happen, obviously, but if he hits, gets a full season where he hits 35, 40 home runs again, and the White Sox get good, which... Eh, highly unlikely. <laughs> I'm a Cubs fan, so. All right, are we going to hit a Dominguez? Starting to lose faith here. Do they, like, short print this thing? Holy cow. This is insane. Now, I, there's no way that these packs are searched. There's no way. You can't see through these. Holy cow. Still. Coming down to the last 10. That was 24 of these packs. Again, I usually don't buy these kind of packs because I just don't think they bring, give you chances to hit. But Bowman's crazy. Bowman is crazy, and this is this might be the only chance. I look at it this way. Anytime you see Bowman, it might be the only chance you get to buy it. So it's hitting the shelves, and people are buying it. Glenn Allen. Man, you, you want to watch a sweet video? And I'm a Cubs fan. Go. Uh, YouTube and search Glen Allen Hill home run at Wrigley Field. He, if you have not seen that, you have got to watch that. There's a cool card, a Kuna. You got to go watch that home run he hit at Wrigley Field, Glen Allen Hill. Just an absolute mash. Not only did it go out of Wrigley, it went up. And over the rooftops, he hit it so hard. That is an all-time classic. Too bad that wasn't HD. 
It's one of the longest balls I've ever seen hit. I wish I'd have been there. One of the coolest home runs I've ever hit or seen in person was I was at the Cubs the first year 2015 home series against the Cardinals at Wrigley Field. I'm sitting out in the bleachers and Schwarber hit the bomb that landed on top of the by the Budweiser sign. And holy cow, the place went absolutely insane. As a Cubs fan, I've never seen that few of Cardinal fans at a Cubs game. Usually Cubs-Cardinals games, there's Cardinal fans everywhere. That game, there were no Cardinals fans there. It was, it was incredible. And the place went nuts. So that one's backwards and... Holy cow, guys. No Bobby Witt. It's like a force field tonight. No Bobby Witt. And no Jason Dominguez. Whoo, baby. I might have to just keep going. I, I have some, some uh, value packs. with the camos. Maybe I can hit a camo. wonder what those are. Somebody comment. Somebody get on eBay and look up Jason Dominguez camo from 2020 Bowman. See what those are going for. Maybe I can get lucky and hit it in a camo if I can't hit it in a chrome. Holy cow, man. I know I didn't miss it in chrome because I haven't looked at the all the paper. I might have missed it in paper. I've got two over there in paper, but hey, there's some color, second color. Hit the Robert. Rookie, sky blue paper, Aaron Chavez, or uh, not Chavez, Savelli. Sorry, I'm tired. A little, little annoyed at this point, trying to keep an even keel. But I'm more dumbfounded at this point. Nope. Yeah, I've been stopping at my local Target every single day. Ooh. Oh, it's orange paper. Still, could be... Who no orange paper of Dominguez would be hey we got a regular paper Dominguez and nope but orange paper oh it's gold not orange Ronnie Mauricio out of 50 gold paper Bowman Prospects. And that's the last pack here. Well, got a Dominguez. Not a Chrome. Still shut out in the Chrome department, which is which is unbelievable. Blown, my mind is blown. All right unless it's right after this one, and it's not. So there we have it, 24 single packs. And here's the hits. We had the Sky Blue Paper rookie, Aaron Savali. We had the Gold Paper, Ronnie Mauricio. Shortstop for the Mets out of 50. We had the autograph, Andrew Bechtold. And then we had the paper, Dominguez. A few other decent cards, but overall, there we have it. Thanks for tuning in. Again, get on. Uh, let me know what the camo goes for. Thanks again. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Really appreciate the support. Peace.